everyone, welcome to The Sims 4 Episode 5, Rise to Witches, Mermaid Edition. Today we are going to finish up repairing all of this stuff, get more upgrade parts, hopefully we can get our handiness level up, so we can upgrade these, so we don't always have to repair them. Wouldn't that be swell? Also, last episode, so she was struck by lightning, and I remembered why I had put a shower in the little home where I now have a mirror. It was because of that. It was because of that reason. So I just got her a new one that's outside. As soon as she's done with all of that, she can scavenge for parts from everything. Oh, hey, you got the level 5 handiness skill. That's awesome. Scavenge for parts and then throw everything away. There we go. Perfecto. Now come and clean up some of the area surrounding your place. Uh, Jenna, what do you want? Uh, sure, go ahead, get a promotion. Although I thought you were at the top of your career, so. Oh boy, there is an activist, anti-environmentalist. Confront about wrongdoing. Great. Come on. Confront about wrongdoing. Okay. I'm not sure if she's listened to us or not, so I'm going to go finish taking care of the environment instead of arguing with people about it. Clean up that lava. It's very... Stop, phone! I am recording. I need to turn that notifications off, but I just turned them back on earlier today. And I don't know how they got off in the first place before. Anyways, repair that, and we can start going to our jobs again. This series is going to be longer than the other one, just because it's taking longer to earn money. Handiness level 1, mayhem at the beach, mischief, cooking, handiness, charisma, cave of wonders. Okay, go explore the cave, and then mail the treasure to the customer. I'm just going to spend some time doing odd jobs and come back when we have at least a bit more money. Okay, so I played for almost an entire Sims week and I got her up to 12,000 simoleons. I also had to stop playing because it was dinner time, so this is now the very next day. So I played yesterday, that's what that the earlier bit of this recording is. Um, I, um, it was, uh, I should still have the notifications from yesterday. Uh, she got her handiness level up to level 9. Um, Harvest Fest, yes. It was Harvest Fest yesterday, so that's why there's like a couple decorations. And why her inventory had... Oh, never mind. I sold those. Uh, anyways, let's move her over here so we can get... So we can try and expand this house a bit. Let's put some... Let's put our stuff in our inventory right now. 
put everything in there because we don't know what we will be able to buy again if we sell it. I mean, I'm going to sell the decorations and this bush, but one second, I almost forgot to put these things in our we can't put these in our inventory? That sucks! Okay, whatever. Okay, going down. We can probably keep this as like a little kitchen nook thing. We'll just have to move the door. Uh, put a small bathroom right there. Should this be the kitchen or a bedroom? Probably a bedroom. If so, then we can expand this out one. Go down here a bit. Just so we can have a study that's connected to the bedroom. Make a small hallway here with an entrance hall right off of it. Uh, put the coconut tree in it. Oh, I forgot to put some, sell some seeds. Oh well. With a small entryway right here. Uh, that didn't work correctly. Uh, expand it a bit more. And we can put a small kitchen dining room place right there, along with a, a bit of a patio out the back. Uh, like that. We can put this down here, and mm -hmm, that looks good. We'll have to, uh, here we go like this, and we go in two. There, that works. Now we move this and go in till it's only two. Again, there. And if needed, we can always expand this, but well, we probably will later on. But it won't be for a bit yet. Okay, put that there. And... If we go like this, it will be a nice little overhang for the porch. Uh, over like this. Put, put this in. Yeah, that's good. Now we just make the roof match. Make the outside match as well. Okay, yeah. We still have quite a bit of money, so that's good. Why are the terrain tools looking shiny? I already know about these. Okay. Stop looking shiny, please. Stop looking shiny. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's the one I used. And we just make sure the porch is all the same color around here. Uh, not that big, no. And I think that works. Now we just need to add doors, windows, and some more things in the, ha in the place. First thing first, let's add some rails around. And uh, not that. Uh, not that either. Uh, that looks... Hmm... This kind of suits our needs a bit. 
it's, I mean, it goes with the house, but it will cover some things. I don't think these things were supposed to stay when I got rid of that. Oops. Once again, that's too big. That doesn't suit the... I guess we can use those. Oops. Mm -hmm. Good, good. There we go. Now we just need to get some flooring for the outside. We can put that in the kitchen, actually. That in the bathroom. Or oh, maybe that one would be better. Yeah. I like that for the outside. And some wood paneling for the other places. Got it. Just use the same windows as we have been. Three, four, five, six. That's a lot of windows, I know, but why not? Okay, that looks good. Is there a window I can put right here? Does that have something that will match the other windows? Kind of. I mean, if you turn the windows brown, that'll work. Okay, that, that looks good. You just need to do that for every other window that's in the house. Someone mentioned on my last Let's Play that I made the rooms too big for the house that I was making. The house for Isabella and her, her future family. I, when I build a house, I always try to make sure there's room for things. I always have future plans in mind for the houses. For decorations and whatnot. Uh, not that one, no. Actually, if I move that here and do this. Okay, that works. Kind of. No. Okay, let's get the three door. That, that, that works, yeah. Okay. Now we can get this door for the outside area back there. We need some wallpapers though. We can change the wallpaper in the bedroom too. To a nice blue, I think. That will look good. This one can be a simple wallpaper, though not... Sorry about that, my friend messaged me and I put pushed F1 without thinking to pause the recording. It took me right out of build mode, so... <laughs> okay, where were we? Uh, wallpapers. Now, that's right. Okay, let's look for a nice wallpaper for the kitchen. Maybe we can make the, the wallpaper for the kitchen be a nice brick. I don't know. That one looks okay. Let's see. Oh, I like that one. We'll have to change the flooring, but I don't really mind. I'll put that as the wallpaper for the hallway. And go back to the flooring so we can change it out to something a bit lighter or darker. That works. Now we need to do the wallpaper for the bathroom. Uh, hmm. 
I never really used this one, so why not? Okay, I will be right back. I have another message. Okay, I'm back. It doesn't take that long to respond to them. Okay, now. What doors did we want for the bedroom and the little thingy? Actually, one sec. I had an idea. Okay, I didn't put the doors down yet. Why am I going into build mode? I mean, buy mode. Hmm. I'm not getting the bigger doors. There's no point. There's not much room. We can do these, yeah. And for the kitchen, we can do a, a small thing. Small thing, yeah. Now time to put things down in their rightful spaces. Bookshelf goes in the study, the table and chair go into the kitchen. Oh yeah, we have a small couch that I managed to buy at the storage sale thingy. Flea market! It's called the flea market. <laughs> My bad. I put the shower in there. Put the meal right here. Rocking chair right here. Coconut tree can just go out here. I'll just put those there. And now we can use the rest of our money to freshen up the place. Get a few more counters. And get a small stove. That is functional off the grid. Yeah. We're not getting anything really expensive. We're just getting a few things that will help us. We can get a toilet and a sink in here with a cheap mirror. And for and that for decor. In the study, we can have a small desk looking outside the window over here with the bookshelf right next to it. With a chair. I'm trying to find the chair that came with it. I, I think that's the chair, yeah. <clears throat> And, hmm, I'm trying to find something else that would suit the study in here. We have that, and maybe a woodworking bench. Yeah, that works for me. For her bedroom, we can have a dresser over here. Uh, what's this? Interesting. Yeah, that looks about right. Now we have to add some lights that walk off the grid. Uh, let's go here. Off the grid. There we go. Lights. We'll put some candles right there. A nice books stack of books and whatnot they are. I know this light doesn't walk off the grid, so it just won't. You'll still keep it, though. And these lights walk off the grid, too, so we can actually have some ceiling lights all around the place, which is good. And I finally remembered what I was going to do for this tiny room. I was going to put this in there. There we go. Nice house. 
Now, since we have money left over, we can get some water thingies. Uh, the dew collectors. Water productivity. Okay. They'll just go like that. Two of them should be fine. We don't use the showers and whatnot often. So it should be fine, yeah. There we go. Uh, do we have enough for a cover pit thing? No, we do not. That's a thousand. Let's turn this, this light off. And ta-da! Assigned bed. So our best. And we need to repair the stereo. But that's fine. Uh, put that in your inventory so you can sell the produce that comes from it. Oh, the Romantic Festival is in town. Nice. Open the seasonal packet. Roses. Of course. Romance Festival is in town. Gives us roses. Okay, let's uh, turn off the utility uses usage for everything in here. Just so we don't have to worry about our stuff getting, using up all of our power. Okay. Now make yourself something to eat. Chicken store fry sounds nice, huh? I mean, you deserve a treat. You've been living off of salads since you moved out of your mom's house. Okay, what is this? The number six, the number six will be very important to you in the next 24 hours. Hang up. We don't need that. Now, since we got a proper house, now Sora can actually get a proper job. Find job. Uh, we're not going to the teeth. We're not going to the romance festival, no. Throw that away. And get a conservational job. There you go. Now go to sleep. Uh, sure. What's the assignment? Research conserv... Con however you pronounce it. Sure, why not? She woke up and now she's a little bored, so I'm going to have her go dive for treasure over here. Because she is energetic and she also has the outdoorsy lifestyle. So her sitting inside isn't really a good idea. Also, she finished researching the conservation thingy. Which is good. Free dive again. Lifestyle. Oh, adrenaline seeker. Forgot that was a lifestyle. Frequent traveler. What? How did you get a lifestyle from that? I, I mean, I guess. Go to lifestyles. You have energetic, yeah. Frequent travelers make a habit of visiting new and exciting places and want to experience everything these locals have to offer. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, travel for vacations, visit exotic hidden destinations, and seek out new experiences while traveling. I okay. Adrenaline Seeker. Adrenaline Seeker is a lifestyle for sims who seek out danger and adventure. 
and sometimes even drama to ride the wave of an adrenaline rush. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, explore dangerous locations, get into fights, woohoo outside. They added that. Okay. Walk in a dangerous career and seek out excitement in all its forms. Just be sure to avoid the mundane. Okay. Um, okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well. Anyways, I think this is where I will end episode 5 here. Um, this has been a wonderful time playing. I really enjoyed building the house with all of you. I normally do the speed builds without me talking much, but it was a small build. It didn't take up much money or time, so I figured, eh, why not? Now, I know it's not much, but we worked hard for this. An entire Sims week was dedicated to gathering just enough money to build this place. So yes, I am proud of it. And I think I might need logic for her new career, so... Next episode, I will buy a logic table, a chess table, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, adios amigos. I still do not speak Spanish. I should probably learn if this is going to be my outro.